This video will describe how to install the Smart Floodlight Security Camera. The camera has a lot of powerful and useful features. It has two bright 3000 lumen LED floodlights. This is the night vision camera and the photocell light sensor. The camera and floodlights can be adjusted up and down or side to side. There is a speaker and a mic for two-way audio. This is the motion sensor that can detect movement up to 32 feet away. Here is the indicator light that signals whether the camera is connected to Wi-Fi and the internet. Here's what comes in the box. In addition to the fixture, there's mounting hardware, screws, washers, and nuts. You will also need a flathead and Phillips screwdriver, sealant, and a ladder depending on your installation location. Turn the main power off at the circuit breaker or fuse box. Use a voltage meter reader to test to be sure that the power is completely off before wiring your fixture. Remove the mounting plate by unscrewing and removing the decorative nuts and rubber washers. Look for the best installation location. The base of the motion sensor on the fixture should be placed parallel to the ground and mounted around 9 feet above the ground to optimize the motion detector, so it can detect human-sized objects for up to 32 feet. If you mount the fixture lower than 9 feet, it may result in more notifications from smaller objects. Install the mounting bar to the junction box using the mounting screws included in the box. Add the spacer to eliminate any gaps between the mounting bar and the mounting plate if needed. Feed the wires through the openings on the mounting gasket and mounting plate. Secure the mounting gasket and mounting plate to the mounting bar using the included screws. Do not over tighten. Connect the power supply wires directly to the terminal block using a small screwdriver. Connect the load, ground, and neutral wires. If you are not sure of your wiring, consult a qualified electrician. Position and align the mounting holes on the fixture body to the mounting plate screws. Secure the fixture body to mounting plate using rubber washers and the decorative nuts. Turn on the electrical power and turn on the wall switch if needed. Check to be sure the fixture lights turn on. If it's daytime, you can just put your hand over the camera to simulate darkness so the lights will go on. Then, apply a silicone sealant around the base of the fixture to prevent moisture from reaching the electrical connections. To enable smart features, download and install the Fight Electric app on your smartphone and register to create an account. Tap plus in the upper right corner. If this is the first device you're setting up, you can also select Add Device. Tap Security and Cameras and select Floodlight Camera. If the indicator light is blue and rapidly blinking, tap Confirm to continue. If the LED is not blinking blue, press and hold the reset button for 15 seconds or until you hear an audible tone. The indicator light should now be blue and blinking rapidly. After pressing Confirm, you will be prompted to enter the password for your Wi-Fi network. Be sure the Wi-Fi network you're using is a 2.4 GHz network only. If you try to use a 5 GHz network, it will not connect. The app will generate a QR code. Hold the phone 6 to 12 inches away from the camera, with the QR code clearly visible on the screen. Wait until the connection tone. Then press, I heard the beep, to begin camera pairing. The floodlight security camera will then start connecting. If the connection fails, check to be sure you entered your Wi-Fi password correctly. And remember that your password is case sensitive. If you still can't connect, close the app and repeat the previous steps or view help for other tips. Alternatively, you can choose to connect the camera with easy mode. Tap security and cameras and select floodlight camera. In the add device menu, select easy mode in the upper right corner. If the indicator light is blue and rapidly blinking, tap Confirm to continue. If the LED is not blinking blue, press and hold the reset button for 15 seconds or until you hear an audible tone. 
The indicator light should now be blue and blinking rapidly. After pressing confirm, you will be prompted to enter the password for your Wi-Fi network. Be sure the Wi-Fi network you're using is a 2.4 GHz network only. If you try to use a 5 GHz network, it will not connect. Once the device is successfully added, the indicator light on the fixture should be solid blue. When the connection is complete, you will get a device added successfully screen in your app. Tap the pen icon to rename the device. Then, save the name and tap Done. Press and hold the device icon to enter the control panel. On the control panel, you will see live video from your camera and be able to adjust the motion detection zones and light settings. Press Motion to set the motion detection zones and timer for the lights and camera. Turn zones on, off by tapping on zones to adjust the motion detection sensitivity. Select the amount of time after motion is sensed to keep the lights on and to record video. The lights will go on at night if motion is detected. You can also turn the lights on or off using the app. Press light to adjust brightness, set schedules, or turn the lights on or off. From the control panel, you can take screenshots, capture video, press talk to speak to visitors, press the siren and call 911 and playback video. Press the pen icon in the upper right corner to reach the device settings menu. Check the SD card settings to make sure the record switch is on if you want to record video. Notifications can alert you when your camera senses motion. To enable push notifications, go to Home page and tap Profile. If you do not enable push notifications, messages will be in your message center. Press Settings and click on the button to receive push notifications. Now you are ready to use and enjoy your smart floodlight security camera. For troubleshooting tips or to learn more about product features, check out the user guide or visit fight.com for the latest information.